Hey guys, it's Marella, and today I'm giving you a bathing suit collection. I don't know if you can see all of these, but a lot of people have asked for this, and um, I'm just going to kind of give you styling tips with a bathing suit. I know it sounds kind of weird, but most people don't mix and match their bathing suits, and I'm here to show you that I do. So I'm just going to show you all of the bathing suits I have right now. those and these so as you see I leave them out with their match but what I like to do is pair different ones <laughs> yeah ruffles make you look like you have boobs even though you don't so coral goes really good with teal now I have this bathing suit right here that has coral in it, bottoms, it's billabong, and this top actually looks really cute with these bottoms because even though they don't go together, the colors match, and it just looks really funky and cute. Here's one from Target, and this is just a regular triangle bikini, so here are the bottoms right here, and the top has beading on it. Can you see that? And I like to pair this bathing suit also with these bottoms or vice versa, the bottoms to this with this top because the colors also match. This has coral in it, but it's not as defined as the other bikini necessarily. But it looks really cute if you pair it with a bright bottom. You know, one solid, one patterned, kind of draws attention to different parts of your body. This is a top that I actually made from one of Sam's old shirts. It says loose lips sink ships and it's also just a regular triangle top. I didn't finish the bottoms. I just need to put side ties on them, but here's the front. This is also still made from the t-shirt. And then the back. Cute, huh? But see, since this top is black and white, what I have, um, and I didn't finish the bottom, obviously. So I have this plain white, um, their bottoms from Abercrombie and the black mousse so it goes perfect with these and these are a good basic for like multiple tops because here is the top that I have from Target it was um Ashley Page for Target and as you see it's cute and knitted and the bright blue looks really good with the tan but when I got it it was on sale so it didn't have a matching bottom and I didn't really know what to put it with. So these white ones looked really good because they're just basic white and they'll go with anything. This top right here will look cute with these bottoms. Or these bottoms. Or these bottoms. Another Abercrombie basic. I got these, um, I have, I'm really tiny if you see and so bottoms a lot of times like if I shop at Target or Old Navy don't fit me so um, Abercrombie I got the benefit since I'm like the size of a 12 year old and I can fit in their bottoms <laughs> so here's another um, basic from Abercrombie yellow I really like yellow I think that it can go with anything and it's a bright color it's fun it's cute get another Old Navy I love Old Navy tops I can't fit in the bottoms I don't know why they're always like, saggy on my butt but the tops are super cute and this one as you see has a lot of different colors in it and it's like really crazy pattern so um, it might be kind of hard to find what would match with it but as you see it has yellow in it and it's kind of a softer yellow just like these bottoms so I wore this bathing suit together because it matched and it was cute. So I think if I had the bottoms to this, it might be a little too much pattern going on. Like, I don't know. I'm not really into crazy patterns on top of patterns. So this top, since it's just basic brown, can go with either the plain white bottoms or the yellow bottoms. Or something like this, which is a pattern bottom and see it has brown in it. So it'll match, even though these weren't meant to go together. Since I own both of them, I could put them together. This top right here is um, just a small purple lime. And I didn't really have a bottom that matched with it for because I've had this for like two years maybe. 
And so I got this bathing suit. See these bottoms. This top from H&M. And the purple color is like the same. You can't really tell because this is shiny. But this top could go with these bottoms. Or these bottoms. Because it has both colors in it. So these could go with something that's purple. Like this top. Tip number one. Always try on your bathing suit before you buy it to make sure you're comfortable in it. Tip number two. If the store doesn't have your size, it wasn't meant to be. Don't buy something that's too small or too big because you don't want bathing suit malfunctions. That would be bad. You don't wear anything under a bathing suit. Tip number four. Always perform a wet test. Take your bikini home, wet it, and make sure it's not see-through because if you find out it's see-through when you're at the pool or on the beach, then it's too late. Tip number five. Stock up over the years on different bikinis of different shapes so that you aren't stuck with the same tan line every year. Tip number six, you can still accessorize in a bikini. Earrings and bracelets look best. I wouldn't suggest rings because if they fall off in the water, they're gone forever. But sandals are also a definite must. Don't wear boots. Tip number seven, neon bikinis show confidence. Wear them with pride. Tip number eight. Hats look great with a bikini and at the beach for a more casual look. Tip number nine, sunglasses, UV protection, keep us from getting crow's feet. So stock up. Number 10, never wear a strapless bikini to a water park. There are crazy slides and you never know where your top will go. Tip number 11, wear your bathing suit with confidence and remember if you don't feel comfortable in it, you're not gonna feel comfortable in it in front of everyone else.